Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Orbound. So, continuing from the last episode, we have our Steam production all automated and sorted. Um, you can probably tell I've added some blacksmiths just to generate a little bit of an income and to also fully stock up on iron plates, cogs, copper plates and copper pipe work. So, we're fully stocked with that and you may have noticed I've increased my storage here. Now it's not all for iron, it's for copper as well, but we should be fully stocked on this. I've left it running for quite a while. So yeah, looks like we are fully stocked on all the copper and everything else. So I've had a little bit of a moving around and basically rebuilding all of the plants and all the setups. So here we have pretty much everything. So we've got a couple of factories. We have our iron factory over here. So we've got all of our ore nodes basically go into these crushers over here and then the crushers are going into a minecart which then distribute over to here and uh, we'll probably have to jump down so i can showcase this to you and we have all of our smelters for our iron here now as i said in the last episode i was playing around with the minecarts and everything kind of think the minecarts are good but i don't think they're very good for small distances so this minecart over here for instance which is for our crushed iron that basically just goes a short distance over to here and i don't think it's really feasible to be honest with the extra resources it takes to craft these um it would probably be just as easy um and less resource demanding as it only takes iron ingots to basically go from there with a belt right to here so i'll possibly fix that at a later date um but i've pretty much got a similar setup for the copper as well the copper factory is kind of over here now the copper ore nodes there's one over in that corner over there i've got another one over here and one over in that direction so the minecart for these actually works really well as i've basically just got the minecarts going around each ore node picking up the ore goes around here into all of these crushes here into these smelters i think this works a lot better than it does sort of close range so i think that's definitely the way to do it so yeah we've got fully stocked up on all of that so now all we kind of need to do is we need to have some sort of way to have a passive income um obviously our best generation of income at the moment is the copper pans at 80 but it's a lot of manual labor to take all the copper out of here and go into these especially when we need a lot of plates and pipes for all the other machines so we're going to delve into the realms of ale farming so i have made a little setup which i will show you very shortly but what we're going to do is we're going to head over to farming and we're going to unlock it first of all so we're going to unlock the ale farming and then what we're also going to do is unlock the automated market now to craft the automated market we are going to need four gold ingots and we're going to need four silver ingots as well so we haven't yet got anything automatically in production from that aspect but what we can do is we can go ahead and first things first we can get everything else set up i've got everything else pretty much in my inventory that we will need so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to find some silver ore and some gold ore so i'm only going to go for 10 of each then we can just manually smelt them and we should be good to go with what we need it for. So it looks like there's some directly below us apparently. Uh, which is rather interesting. But I don't really want to go for that. We'll try and find some little bit easier access. So we have got some around here somewhere directly below us here. Um, yeah apparently so. There should be some pretty much around about here somewhere. So let's grab our pickaxe and let's um, mine and try and find some silver. Okay, let's get a navigator back out and see whereabouts it is. It should be in this direction apparently. So let's go ahead and go this way. And there we go. We found some silver ore. So hopefully there should be a fair bit over here that we can kind of dig up. As I said, we only need 10 and then we can kind of just smelt that and we should be good to go. So 16, I think we'll leave it at that. In fact, we might as well just grab all of this while we're here. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our navigator navigator back out and we will check for gold ore over here so they have changed the navigator actually or maybe it's just because i've got the upgrade and i didn't have the upgrade before um so there should be some gold ore apparently right below us around here somewhere so let's go ahead we'll get this gold ore as well i'm not sure how far down it's going to be get a navigator back out and we'll see where it is it's down in this direction somewhere aha we found gold ore okay that's the iron deposit it goes pretty far down that does doesn't it well, don't want to go too far that way but that's copper um how much of the gold ore have we got um doesn't look like we've got any gold ore maybe 
our inventory is full and it just hasn't told me our inventory is full. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? I would have thought it wouldn't have let us pick it up, but apparently it did. So we'll just continue in this direction. We'll try and get some more. There we go. We've got some more gold ore over here. So not to worry too much. We should be good. Uh, what have we got here? 12. That will do for now. 12 gold ore will do pretty perfectly fine. So we're going to go ahead um, back to base. And what we'll do is we'll just set up a temporary smelter, I think, and we'll just get those bits smelted. So here we are back at base. Um, let's go ahead and get a couple of smelters. Just chuck down very quickly so we can get these things smelted. So smelters, we need coal ore and soft stone as well. I know we have some stone in here and we haven't got anything else that we need. We might as well just get rid of this ruby. People are probably going to be very annoyed for me to chuck in the bin, but we don't need them as of yet. So I'm not too worried about them. They're easily accessible anyway, so I'm not too bothered. And we'll grab a stack of coal so that will do nicely and i'm gonna head down here so i've had to turn my settings down a little bit because my frames keep dropping once i go to sort of heavy resource areas which isn't great but it's something that can't really be avoided at the moment so let's go ahead and get a couple of these built we'll just chuck them here for now perfect okay so we want silver uh, we'll give it half a stack of coal and then we want gold in this one and we'll give that the other stack and that should give us enough resources okay so we have our four gold and our four silver so that's all we kind of need so let's head over to where i've prepared a little area for our farm so the way that i picked this area is i was looking for an ancient route so we've got enough um wood resource for our barrel making and then i thought i would utilize this coal deposit that we have here now there's not a lot of coal in this one um so we might have to steal some at a later date maybe um or quite possibly actually what we could do thinking about it is we could take the output of the minecart station um because that would just immediately sort of fill up as and when anyway but the area i've chose is this area right here so as i was saying we've got an ancient route over there for our wood supply and we've also got a coal supply there from our mine cart so i think what we'll do now you're probably wondering why we need the coal support and basically with the ale farming um i did play around with it in a little bit in another playthrough but we're going to try and upscale it so what we're going to need if we can find it farming there we go okay so we need the auto farm does require water to obviously water the crops and things like that um so that's why we need the coal because we're going to have an automated um pump for that so what i'll probably do is come probably over that hump and over this way and we'll probably put a small storage unit here i think will probably be a good idea then we can just kind of take it from the storage so i think that's probably going to be the better way to do it so we'll go ahead and get a belt container and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the belt container just there and then we'll get this belt set up first of all just to make life a little easier and that can kind of fill up while we sort of sort the rest of it out so we're going to come up and over here and then what we're probably going to do is come over this way kind of have a little bridge going over there so yeah that looks pretty good like that okay so now what we need to do is have a look at what kind of things we need for the farm so we're going to need auto farm which does the crops and then what we're also going to need is the brewing machine as well which takes um the wood from the ale and the barrel maker and all of that lot um we should have a barrel maker yeah just here as well so we're going to need a couple of drills from that ancient wood over there as well but i think first of all we should get our water pumps sorted so automobile water pump um i think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put i'm not sure how many we're going to need but we're going to go for a little bit of overkill just so we can make sure we have enough of them uh, we're going to go for possibly two because i think we'll just put a splitter straight from there into that one um otherwise we're going to have kind of an uneven amount and it's going to look a little bit odd and a little bit awkward so we're going to go ahead and shove that belt there and then we'll put this belt over here and this one over here and that'll be our water supply all sorted. So now all we need is we need to go to farming and we need to go to the auto farm. So auto farm here, as you can see, has a water input. So our barrels are probably going to be 
made along this way then our auto farms are probably going to be over this way so i think what we'll do is we'll go for quite a few of them i think we'll try and put them as close to the edge as possible um because we kind of want this process to be as quick as possible and obviously we need a lot of quantity as well so i think four should be pretty good and then what i'm planning to do is if we go into water again we'll go for the water splitter um so i think what we'll do is we'll put a water splitter over here and then possibly another one over here as well that way we know we've got more than enough water to cope so we'll go into that one into that one and then we'll go around the back around here and we'll just link those together and now we have four outputs for all of these so we're going to go for this one over here well i don't like the way that looks kind of looks ugly but it is what it is so we'll have to make do with it looking ugly um at the end of the day it is a dwarven automated farm so it's never made to look pretty but it will do its job so there we have the auto farm so outputs hop and barley obviously as we can see it does take a lot to progress through so it does take a while to do um but nonetheless it should be a nice passive income so we'll go back into the farming and we have our brewery machine over here so we will take um a belt of each to go sort of where we need it to go and now we've just got to figure out the best way to do this with the barrel makers so we're going to go ahead and get the barrel maker over here um we have a goblin try to attack us so we'll get rid of him very quickly there we go okay so barrel makers trying to think of the best way to set this up as we've got our inputs over here um so what we probably want to do actually is thinking about it we probably only need um two of these maybe because they take a lot of time but these barrel makers don't think actually take too long to produce um what they need to produce so we'll go ahead and we will pop just two of those there i think and then we'll possibly just have maybe we'll do two drills just to make sure the the production can actually keep up is going to be the best thing to do so we'll go ahead and we'll get two drills and we'll put one over here and we'll put one over here that looks good then we should be able to just get a belt and we'll feed this one over here and we'll feed this one to over here as well so that looks pretty good like that now we just need some steam power to obviously power all of this up but what we're also going to do now is we are going to go back into farming and we're going for the brewery machine so we need to try and figure out where we're best going to be to put these because that's going to be the difficult question so we could have four and we could split these barrels into two because we've got four of these over here although what we could do is just put them into storage which might be a better idea because then we can kind of move things around a little bit so i think that's what we'll do so we'll head back into farming we'll go for the brewery machine and then what we can do is we can select the brewery machine to go over here like this and i think we'll do another one over here like so and then we can kind of just split these off where we need them to be so we'll put this one over here and we will put this one over here as well and then we're kind of going to have a little crisscross over this way but i'm not too worried about that so we'll go ale barrel for that one and we'll go ale barrel for that one do we need to set these up as well we do so empty barrels for this empty barrels for that so yeah two seconds to craft one of those so it's definitely going to craft a lot more of those than it is anything else so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and i was going to do storage but i might just do two mergers to be honest with you and just pop them in because they're not going to craft often enough to actually need to go into storage so i think what we'll do is we'll go for a merger um in this direction probably going to be the best thing to do it's going to look a little bit ugly but i think we're kind of just having to make do with what with space we've got so we can go ahead and do that we're not going to pay attention to this much anyway just going to be a nice little bit of passive income for us i'm not too worried about how it looks there we go that should be going into a merger and then we can finally go 
like this and bring this over there and that can crisscross over so there we go so now all we need is we need um steam so we're going to go ahead and see if we can find a spare little uh, valve we can use uh, a steam splitter see if we can find one that we can use uh, there's one over there that will do very nicely we want to go ahead and grab an output off of this um, if there is an output here that we can utilize I think they're all used up, um, but that's not to worry because we can go ahead and steal one off here. We can put a splitter over here. We can join this together. We can bring this one back over there. So that's still working. And then what we'll do is we'll bring this one over to here. And then we'll probably need a couple more splitters. We need one over there for our drills. So we'll pop that one down there for our drills. And then we probably need a couple more over here to power everything else up. So we'll put one over here and we'll put one here. And then we just need to join them all together with our pipes. So we're going to go ahead and bring this one over, I think, first of all. So we'll tuck that underground there. We'll bring that round. Um, we will bring this one round to here. We can then join these up and there we go so they should be operational now and then what we're going to do is bring this one round to over here connect that to that we'll connect that and then we'll connect this one to there that should be producing our barrels and then what we're going to do is connect these up um there we go we should have everything in production now so that's all that sorted so now all we need to do is have a minecart station over here or we could just put it straight into automat automatic um market which is probably going to be my plan so let's get some more foundations down um, we've got plenty of wood so we should be able to do this now i haven't played around with the automated market so i don't know what the actual distance for it is um, but i'm hoping that this is going to be close enough to our sort of main base for it to work as intended i'm not exactly sure how it works but i just need to flatten out this ground a little bit more uh, so we can bring it out a little bit go a little bit more this way there we go okay i think that should pretty much do it um so we can extend our foundations now now you can't see the foundations granted but um, if you bear with me, I will show you a little trick that I'm going to do. Once we just find the right location for that, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is just go around to my pickaxe and we can rebuild the foundations. Here we go. Yeah, that looks plenty of space for our automated market. So um, we're going to go for machines. I'm not sure where the automated market is actually located. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so automated market, we've got two belt feeds there, um, which will line up nicely oh, in fact we've got four belt inputs so that's pretty cool um i think we'll just plop the market down here and hopefully it will work as i think it's going to work so what we need is for them for our money to go up basically but doesn't look like it um right okay so we've got 101 96 and we're going to see if this works as I think it will. So once this is complete, our money should go up in the top left hand corner. So 101.96. Yep, 101.456. So even this far away, it's working pretty well. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, so our outputs are pretty slow. Every 10 seconds, we make um, 50. So it's going to be a pretty slow process. We probably need to expand this quite a lot. We probably need four of these um, to actually make a decent output. Um, so might have to clear some more room over in this direction. I think it's probably going to be the best thing to do. And then instead of merging the hops, we can just kind of utilize them but i think that will do for now we've got we've got two barrel makers making us a little bit of passive income so that shouldn't be too much of a worry if we need a little bit of quick income we know we can um just chuck some copper into the blacksmiths and make some copper pans okay so next thing on our quest now we've looked at the ale farming and i've kind of explained all of that what we need to do is go on a quest to find some silver and some gold because our next way of making a decent bit of an income is this here the gold platter which takes two gold ingots so we need to now go into the process of automating silver and gold but first of all what we're going to do is we're going to find some earth shards so we can craft the mining helmet so the earth shards are them things over there and there's quite a few over there as well so we just need to go ahead and grab 10 of those okay so i've been on a little hunt and it didn't take me long at all i managed to find everything we need so as you can see my frames do drop quite a little bit 
once we're going through the heavy automated areas. So now we just need the boar hide, which I'm pretty sure I have some in here somewhere. I've got some spell iron tools for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and take some of that. We'll put this in there for now and we'll take the boar hide and we'll go ahead and craft the minor helmet just to make things a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so let's go ahead and put our boar hide back in and we've got some food with us. So we'll just chuck those in there for now. We've got plenty of resources in case we need to start crafting as and when we find something. But there we go. We have some light on the situation. So now we need to open up our navigator and we need to go ahead and find a gold or deposit or we'll go for a silver or deposit i think first of all so in fact there's one right below us apparently and um, we do need to find another coal deposit actually because i do want to just mark it down so i can build another steam factory so we'll head over in this direction i think um this one's an iron i'm pretty sure this one's going to be an iron as well that one's an iron deposit as well we have got a silver deposit down below us but yeah i do want to find another coal one uh, unless that's a coal over there can i make a steam powered factory over in that direction no the silver ore looks like it's definitely down there so what we've we got here we've got iron there we've got copper here and we've got a whole load of enemies that are chasing after us now so we'll just flick to our mace make light work of these ones perfect and we've got a big guy here or oh, a couple of big guys here. Ah, we made light work of those. Oh, there's another one. This might not end well for us. Nice. That made it easy. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's over here. Is this, is that a silver? Oh, we've got an orc boss guy over here. These I find are pretty easy to deal with. As long as you don't get too close. They are pretty easy to deal with. The best way I've found to do it is just keep walking backwards and they're kind of very slow at moving so it doesn't take much at all. And then what we can do is collect the large orc skull that we're going to need. Might as well collect the gems as well. So what have we got over here? More iron. Okay, not what we're always after. Let's go ahead and search for coal ore deposit. So it looks like we have one over in this direction but I don't know if yeah, that's the one we've already got access to. So let's head along over in this direction and see if it changes to see if we can find another one. But there is one apparently down below us around here. Very interesting. Okay, let's go a little bit of a dig, see what we can find down here. Found some coal ore. Because I don't want to go too far over in that direction. I wonder if there's one in here actually. That might be one. No, that's copper. And that one over there is probably iron as well. Yep, that's iron. That one's copper. So we've got copper and iron. But we need to find coal. So yeah, coal is directly below us around here somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go digging. Okay, so that's not working out too well for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue looking for this silver ore deposit. Hopefully we can find some coal near this silver. Um, seems like it's a long way down but we could do explore the elevator shafts and we can make an elevator shaft down here and um, there's an easy way back to respawn and that's basically just die so worst comes to the worst we can try that method so let's head on down here and see what we can find um that guy seems to be kind of stuck up there so we'll just leave him to it and we've got iron down here i'm pretty sure it said silver was down here as well let's have a look and see what we can find so we have got silver below us um possibly over here somewhere maybe um doesn't look like there's any silver down here either let's have a look around here this is under our foundations we can see that um doesn't seem to be a lot here either so it looks like we might have to go ahead and dig down a little bit see if we can find anything down here so we have found a little bit of silver ore but we're looking for a big silver ore vein let's get our navigator back up and make sure we're going in the right direction um yep it's just further down from here so a long way down but it looks a bit oh we have a lava down here that's not good so i don't know where this silver ore is but it's somewhere where you can't we can't access so definitely not good down that direction so let's go ahead and see if we can find another one somewhere so definitely not in that direction is definitely not a good idea so we have another opening over here let's see if we can continue this way and here are machines above us so that's a pretty good sign um it's still telling us to go that direction aha uh -huh. okay so hopefully we have better luck going this way oh 
this looks ever so slightly promising apart from the fact that that's not good we have some over this direction apparently yeah it's going to be down below again which doesn't really bode well for us because it's never ended well whenever we've tried going down deeper Let's see what we have over here we have a different type of ore that's kind of here so that's a ruby deposit okay very interesting we have a silver deposit over here but it's not really that big but it might have to do for now get rid of these silly orcs and goblins that just keep swallowing you up everywhere um okay so yeah it looks like this might be the only option we have at the moment there's got to be something nearby okay so i haven't managed to find silver but i managed to find gold what we're going to do is we're going to mark this location uh we need some iron ore brilliant well it's a good job there's a nice little iron deposit down here i'm completely forgot we needed some iron ore for the beacons so we're going to grab some iron ore here and uh, we'll go one more we'll go for 20 that'll be fine and what we can do is we can activate a beacon here and we can call this one um, gold ore so there we go we have a gold ore beacon so what we're going to do now um, is we'll just select that for the gold ore so what we're probably going to do is probably we're going to sacrifice ourselves and head back to base and then what we're probably going to do is dig down and we're going to build an elevator down to here and then we can kind of figure out what we're going to do with this sort of area and um, what i'll probably do is get put a couple of drills and we'll put a minecart station i think we'll just minecart it up and then kind of do it that way might be the best way to do it we just need to find another coal um ore vein hopefully there'll be one sort of above us somewhere that we can kind of utilize and make ourselves a nice little steam plant to keep powering things okay so here we are back at base um let's go to research let's go to possibly crafting i can't remember where it was exactly actually the elevator um transport there we go so elevators on a lot so what do we need we need wood and iron cogs more wood and iron cogs so i think we'll go and get some more iron cogs i think out of storage because we're probably going to need quite a few of those to go that far down um as far as i know it was pretty far down so better be safe than sorry we'll chuck our rubies in there we'll keep the iron ore just in case we need them and we'll chuck that lot in there as well so we'll go ahead and grab a couple more stacks of iron cogs i think we'll grab another stack of wood to be on the safe side that should be pretty good so let's go ahead and find where our gold ore was located and then we'll have a look and see how these elevator shafts work hopefully we don't need to do any digging hopefully it will just dig down automatically for us that will be great if that is the case but we don't know exactly so it's over there we can see it's over there somewhere so hopefully on our travels if we continue in that direction we sh could possibly find um some copper over here that would be really handy if we could find some um not copper some coal that would be really handy um we're being chased again let's go ahead and get rid of these guys oh frames are dropping again that's the downside to all this action going on this mace is definitely doing its job there we go okay let's go ahead and get our beacon back out so we can see where we're actually going um could this be a small little coal deposit that we could utilize it is a little coal deposit okay i wonder if we could utilize this little coal deposit i wonder if this would sustain us enough for a small little steam factory um let's just figure out how far away this is so it is quite far away but let's just get rid of these goblins these things are so annoying Especially when I'm trying to plan and think about how I'm doing things. Very annoying indeed. So um, we'll do um, coal 10,000. We'll do that quickly. And then we're going to die. Because why not? See what I mean? Why annoying? I'm trying to sort things out. I did put it down, didn't I? Coal 10,000. Yes. Um, I've got another one attacking me. Please where are they coming from i do not know um let's go ahead and get some health okay so let me try and compose myself a little bit more now uh -huh. so actually our gold deposit is just there and our coal was just there so that worked out pretty nicely oh is this a coal or oh, iron oh nearly i wish you would just go away and leave me alone okay so we have a coal deposit here um we have gold deposit down here and i've got another goblin attacking me so annoying okay so yeah we could actually yeah i think what i'll do is i'll make a little oh 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 hello plenty of ruby down here i'm not exactly sure i'm supposed to be able to do that anyway i think 
yeah i'll make a little steam factory over here i think just so we can obviously harness some power um, i think that might be a very smart idea and then we can use that power to power our production going on down there for our gold um we won't need too much to be honest we'll probably just need a few and then hopefully we can kind of build up shall we say um to the surface but we'll see how it goes it looks a bit, a bit messy probably a little bit overkill but we finally have a little bit of steam power so what we need to do is just somehow uh we need to power up with this drill um because i haven't actually done that yet so we're going to go ahead and um we'll link this pipe over to the drill i think will be the best way to do it so oh no that's not what i said but okay there we go thank you very much and then what we need to do is put a little bit of coal ore in there so we need to find a random little bit of coal ore or we can just go ahead and we'll just ink one of them and we'll go ahead and put that in there and hopefully that should go into the water pump that should fire that and hopefully now it should be automated so that's all it takes is just a couple of ore just to start the process and hopefully from that we should be good to go so we now have steam so now we just need to figure out how we're getting down there to our gold so i was tempted to build a bridge sort of across here so we can start building the elevator shaft down i've already put a pipe down there um for the steam so that's all sorted but i think what the best thing to do would probably be to build a bridge going across here and then we can kind of see how this elevator works i don't really want to try and do it from the bottom so we're going to go ahead and try and do it like this just because i want to see if it does go through or not see if it manually digs or doesn't so i think what we'll do is we'll kind of do it over here somewhere um i can hear enemies around me somewhere ah oh, he's stuck up there we'll leave him to it then he's stuck up there that's not too much of an issue so i think what we'll do is we'll put an elevator stop here um on this level and then i think what we'll do is we'll go elevator shaft see if it kind of digs its way down okay so we can kind of do it like that i'm not exactly sure how this all works so can we go ahead and do this um we can't seem to use it i'm not exactly sure how this works to be honest with you so let's go ahead and drop down here i'm not entirely sure if we can see where it's poking through yet um i will assume not because that's probably a long way up um so where are we about to get attacked by an orc again hopefully we don't die I've got a feeling we're going to oh, we are so lucky with that one all right let's get our health up so we have our steam there so yeah the shaft doesn't seem to kind of come down so we're going to go ahead and fix that one okay so as i'm traveling back to the elevator shaft i've learned a couple of things apparently it doesn't self dig through the ground um, which is a little bit annoying sometimes when you place conveyor belts and stuff they do kind of dig the dirt away and make room but um apparently the mine should be elevator shafts don't do the same so i've already done sort of the bottom from our sort of coal level going down so we're just going to try and find um where our deposit is a bit higher up as you can see there so i'm going to try and go a bit higher up and then go from there so so my plan is going to be to try and get back to the surface again and then from the surface what we're going to do is try and locate whereabouts it is and we're just going to dig straight down that's the plan anyway so looking from up here i don't think that's going to be a very wise idea because i think we're going to be all the way up there so it might be an idea to kind of bring it out sort of this direction maybe um because it's sort of down there we could bring it out of via a mine cart sort of up in this direction kind of build a platform over here and this big area here and sort of have the smelting going on there i think that might be the best idea but i think that's going to be a good task for sort of in between episodes um i showed you the ale farming and we've managed to find gold now so that's pretty good um i've got a big build ahead of me so i'll probably do this in between episodes but hopefully you found the, this one interesting and helpful as well especially if you didn't know how to set up the ale farming that will probably need expanding for a good bit of passive income but i hope you've liked the video if you have make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe as well for more all bound content it's been kryptonite here thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one